Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make a health bar like this. Let's get started. So let's get started by creating our health bar. Go to the content browser and right click. Go to user interface and click on widget blueprint. We'll name it health bar. A widget blueprint is basically a blueprint for the user interface of a game. So let's open it. Now here we have the designer tab and here is the graph tab. So the code will go here and the UI design will go here. So first let's delete our canvas panel because we don't need that for now. And we want to make a health bar. So we first need to have a vertical box. A vertical box will align its children in a vertical order. So let's drag a text block in. And we also want to drag a progress bar. So the text block will show how much text we have. And the progress bar will show a visual representation of our health. So let's change the style a bit. Go to the text block. And change the horizontal alignment to be center. And vertical alignment to be center as well. Next click on the progress bar and select the size to fill. So this will fill the whole vertical box. Now to dynamically change the text, we want to go to the text block and click on bind for the text and click on create binding. So here we have a return value and we'll set that later. We want to do the same now for the progress bar, but instead of text, we want it to be its percentage. Now this percentage goes from 0 to 1. So 0.5 will be half full and uh, 1 will be completely full. So we want to bind this percentage as well and click on create binding and this return value will fill it in later as well. Now go to the blueprint you want to hurt and open it. Now in the viewport we want to add a component and this component will be a widget. Select the widget and go to the widget class in the details panel and change it to health bar. Now we need to add a variable and this variable will be called health and change the variable type to be a float. Now in the default value section we can change the health to say 100. So now we need to go back to the health bar blueprint and now we need to add another variable and we'll name it owner. And this owner will be our cube. So we need to change the variable type to be a cube. And that's a cube actor. We need to get an object reference. So in the percentage, we need to drag the owner into the blueprint, drag out of it and we can get health. Now remember, this health variable will be 100, but the progress bar only takes a value of 0 to 1. So we need to divide 100 by 100. Connect this return value into the return node and go to the text binding. And we can do the same here. So we get the owner and get health. And connect it to the return value. And if you notice, Blueprints is very practical because it just converts float to text automatically. So now we can compile and save and go back to the cube. Now let's zoom out a bit. You should see our widget blueprint in the viewport. But it's a bit too big, don't you think? So let's change this value. A value I found good for me is 70 in the y-axis and 200 in the x-axis. Let's drag it up a bit. Our problem with this widget blueprint is if you go to the back of it, you can't see it anymore. It's invisible. So we need to continually rotate the widget to face the player. Now if you remember in the previous tutorials, we have this find look at rotation node. If you haven't watched it yet, please go and do so now. But for now, let's just add it in. And the start will be our widget blueprint location.
and the target will be our character. And now we need to set the widget blueprint's rotation. Now the last thing we want to do is to set the health variable to decrease every time we shoot a projectile at the cube. So we select the static mesh component in the components tab, scroll down and add an on component hit event. Drag out of the other actor and we want to cast to the projectile, the first person projectile. Now this can be your own projectile name, but you need to cast to it to check if the component it hit is the projectile. And if it is, we want to minus 10 to our health. So we get the health, then we can also set the health. And we want to drag out of the health, put a minus symbol, and set minus 10, and set the health variable. So when you finish setting the health variable, we need to do one last thing. And that's at the event begin play. We want to get our widget and we want to get user widget object and we want to cast to health bar. Next drag as health bar out and type set owner. And now we need to get a reference to self and connect it to owner. Now compile and save. And now when we play, you can see it's a hundred health. And if we fire once, it minuses and it minuses 10 health. So that's how it works. And you could also add some logic to say when it reaches zero, then it either destroys the cube or does some other code. So that's how a health bar works. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. And please uh, give me some suggestions on what tutorials I can make. I also have a little announcement to make. And that is every Thursday, there will be a new tutorial. So I hope you look forward to that. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And let's see if this time we can hit 300 likes. See you soon.